In this session, we'll start to create a drawing of the L bracket shown here. Our first step is to define the drawing sheet. This is done by selecting the pull-down options File and then New. And then we'll click the radio button next to Drawing. We'll now key in LBRAC for the name of the drawing. Now we'll uncheck the box to use the default template and then click on the OK button. Our drawing will be based on the part LBRAC, so we'll not change this entry. Next, we'll make sure the radio button next to Empty is selected and then set the standard size to A, followed by clicking on OK. As you can see, the new drawing window has opened. The next step is to add the first view of our part. We start this process by selecting the Create a General View icon. We'll now click on OK to select No Combined State. Then, we'll use the cursor to click at the location on the drawing sheet where the first view will be placed. The next step is to orient the part to produce the desired projection. This process is similar to working with Sketcher. Since we want a front view of the part, we'll make sure that view type is set to front and then click on OK. We'll now turn off the display of the datum planes and axes. Now we'll click on the repaint icon in order to clean up the display. Next, we'll click the right mouse button and select Properties. In the window that has just opened, we'll set the category to View Display and then set the Tangent Edges display style to None, followed by clicking on the OK button. In order to place the other views on our drawing, we'll first click on the front view, followed by clicking the right mouse button and then selecting the Insert Projection View option. We'll now use the cursor to click to the right of our first view at the location where we want the side view. We'll now repeat the process to define the top view. Finally, we'll place a rotated view in the upper right corner by again clicking on the Create a General View icon. We'll now click at the location to place the view and then select the Scale category, followed by clicking the Custom Scale button and keying in a scale of 0.5. And then we'll select OK. If we need to reposition any of the views, we'll first turn off the Lock View icon, followed by clicking on the view to be moved. Then we'll hold the left mouse button down while dragging the view to the desired position and then release the mouse button to place the view.